Hey there, I'm Joshua, the audio guy. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I'm doing as the sound guy for MythTech, a Seattle-based startup indie gaming company. Check us out at MythTechLLC.com. That's M-Y-T-H-T-E-C-H-L-L-C.com. We're currently working on our flagship title, Solterra, which is going to be a survival adventure style game that's a first person shooter combined with MMORPG elements. You can also craft and build your own items. It's gonna be super exciting. The in-game economy is gonna be really unique. I'm super stoked to play this game, so I have to hurry up and help make it. So as the sound guy for this project, I have a lot of things under my belt that I have to take care of. One of them is composing the songs and the music that you'll hear in the game. Another is helping to create, craft, and write, and possibly record some of the voiceovers. Additionally, all of the different sound effects that you hear, I will somehow create those as well. Now there are a few different processes for doing this, but today I'm going to talk specifically about what I'm doing for the sound effects that I'm working on for a gameplay trailer that we're creating. What I'm going to be doing for this is going online and either purchasing sample, sound sample packs or downloading sounds from websites that offer royalty-free and Creative Commons sounds. Now, there are many different ways to do this. This is the way I've chosen for this project because I need to do it quickly. I need to be able to get sounds that will match the trailer um, and have high quality without having to spend the time of going out and recording them myself. Now, sometimes I would go out and record these sounds myself, and for some of the sounds for this particular trailer, I will probably end up doing that, but most of them I'm finding on sites like freesfx.co.uk. This is a website that offers a ton of royalty-free sounds that you can use for different projects. I'm going to take you into my computer to show you a bit about my process and how I'm going about doing that. All right, so here we are inside the computer. The files are inside the computer. As I mentioned before, this site here, freesfx.co.uk, it's a good site for finding free uh, Creative Commons royalty-free sound effects. So I typed in footsteps here because I was looking for sounds that sounded like gravel footsteps. Um, as, I, as you'll notice here in my audio assets list that I mentioned earlier, I have a set of a list of different things that I need to try to try to find. Um, I've got footsteps, gravel, concrete, and dirt. Over here, I describe if it's randomized or if it's a loop or if it's a one-shot effect. These are randomized because inside this folder, Footsteps Gravel, there will be individual files that I'll eventually create, here I have them already prepared, where the program will randomize, randomly grab one of them to play for each footstep the character makes. So here in Cubase, I've taken that file that I downloaded from freesfx.co.uk, the Footsteps Ice Crunchy, I've imported it, and it sounds like this. I've added a few effects on it, so I've maximized it, which is a... Um, a little tool that helps to bring out some of the frequencies to make it fuller sounding, and I've EQ'd it a little bit to fit my needs as well. So here's the, here are the footsteps from that file. Nice, crunchy, yeah, and they kind of sound like gravel. They sound much more like gravel when you speed them up as well, but listening to this file I was convinced I can make this sound like gravel. So what I did is I took the footsteps that I thought were the best, and I chopped them up. I edited them and clipped them so that the beginning of the file starts right around where the foot hits the ground and then I have it fading on the end here. I've I've decided to uh, to fade the volume down so they sound more natural. And I also have the footsteps so they're linked uh, so that they overlap. And this is so that the footsteps again sound more natural and additionally because there was a tempo I was given um, they said try to make it sound like they're about like uh, dot 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 like that and so I said okay I'll I'll do that so I kind of played with the t with the metronome until I found that tempo and then I linked the footsteps up one per beat so that they uh, so that they they all hit on that same tempo as the character is running and this is what it sounds like with the five footsteps that I clipped with all of them looped. Yeah, so it sounds it sounds like pretty natural footsteps on gravel or the person walking or or running at a very slow pace, walking at a quick pace. Um, now with the randomization, as I mentioned before, these won't be played in this sequence, so it won't get monotonous like that. And I'll probably end up adding a couple extra later on. But that's uh, that's a very quick example of how I actually created the effects uh, in Cubase by using samples that I downloaded from freesfx.co.uk. Uh, based on what was needed on the asset list that I that I started creating. Now this is an incomplete list, definitely, but it's got a lot of the things that I'll need to be working on. And um, yeah, and so 
that's that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was at least somewhat informative. Ask any questions you need. Put some things in the comments below. And uh, if you're interested, subscribe. I'll put that big old button somewhere here on the screen. So yeah, thanks again.